What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back on to the next main mission, Bird in a Cage. So this is definitely one of the longer main missions in the game. Uh, also one of the more difficult ones to navigate. There's essentially little uh, caves that you can take to kind of sneak through a good bit of this level. Uh, but if you miss them, it's just hell with cannons firing off of you and a bunch of enemies and all kinds of crap. So anyway, uh, right at the start here, run on down to grab this loot. And then we're going to run off to the right of the shrine for more loot. Now we will hit the shrine up. Just going to keep focusing on our stamina. Uh, which I do want to see. How are we looking on that, that helm? 71.7 still. Alright, so into the first cave we go. And we're going to take a right. And we're going to get that door open a little bit later, so don't worry about it for now. we got a dweller right here, but there's another dweller, which you can kind of see right here. Uh, these are poop barrels. What we mean by poop barrels is they will give you uh, the stinky debuff, which is going to affect your healing. Alright, and there's our first dung ball. Now, there is actually a trophy attached to a NPC that's in this mission. You have to give him 30 dung balls. Uh, there's noble dung balls as well. Those are going to be worth two dung balls each, but you have to give him 30 total. Uh, a couple people have reported that you can give him dung balls and come back into the mission. The game keeps track. I would suggest just saving it until you have 30 piles of poop and then handing them all at once uh, to get the achievement that you need. So anyway, uh, continue along, and then at the split, we're going to take a right into the cave. And it's time for everybody's favorite enemies, the spiders. So as you can see, spiders will inflict you with sloth. Uh, if they ambush you, you're going to have a terrible time. Basically fall on you and do a bunch of damage. So anytime you see a spider on the wall, hit it off. And these little eggs that you're seeing all over the place can also have spiders in them as well. So it's good to, to fight in mid-stance here. Mid-stance usually has nice wide sweeps. We'll kill off all the little spiders. Spider along the wall, spider in the eggs. Um, going this way, and then up top into our zone, and we're gonna come up behind and get a backstab. Um, now we're gonna continue down this way and into another cave. So first up, we have a battle with the fart rats. This. And Kodama number one. And then run on ahead and we will open up a door. This will give us a shortcut back to the shrine at the beginning of the game. Here I'm going to go ahead and spend this. And then the samurai tree, I can't grab life yet. Um, let me work my way up for damage boost strength. Now right here you see loot and you're probably like, oh my god, the loot. But look at this little guy. He's just sitting up there, waiting to drop on top of you. And those spiders, they can, if if you are in light armor, <clears throat> and you get ambushed by a spider, you're basically dead. They are terrifyingly strong. So, something to keep in mind. Um, so we're going to continue back. And we're going to stay to the left. With that guy, we don't have to fight. We're safe. He's over here. Kill him. You can see a ninja dog right over there. And we're going to kill this dweller. And with the dweller dead, fire the cannons. Boom. That one doesn't really do anything. Uh, this one, however, is going to blow up that watchtower over there. So every single one of these zones has a uh, bugler in it. 
and the bugler will sound the alarm and then a bunch of enemies will come running at you which is why we're going to sneak behind and blow up all the watchtowers in this area uh, and then use the cannons for ourselves uh so grab the loot and then go back up onto the roof grab that loot so we're going to go back onto the roof here and here we're going to drop down for a kodama which I'm not seeing. Oh, that's right. I changed my helm up. Let me go back to my other helm that has a Kodama sense on it. I like seeing them. So now we're just going to go around killing some enemies and picking up loot. This way. This is where the guard tower was. This. And there's a Sudama behind the house. Alright. Let's drop him something. Level 71. Let's drop that. Give me something good. Bedrock Blaster. Oh boy. Gladly use that. Nice high level cannon. Uh, so continue on from here. We're going to go up through the gate. And then we're going to swing right here. Get this little piece of loot up on the roof. And then over here, you want to shoot this Yoki. Uh, if you don't shoot him, instead, what he's going to do is essentially he'll kick down that barrel. The idea is you would come over here to fight the dog and he would kick down the barrel. So we just want to pop him so that barrel doesn't come barreling towards us. All of these barrels you can actually get behind and push them yourself if you want. Um, you can even kind of run past the guy and get the barrel, but it's super hard. Anyway, get Kodama over here. Now in this next one, as soon as we cross this bridge, there's the guard tower up there. Uh, the alarm is going to sound. So we're going to basically go over here, let that sound, then we're going to back up. We'll let a couple of these guys come. Things nice and easy for us. Go on, you can take out this clown. Um, okay, so we're gonna grab the one loot, the one that's right over here, and then we're gonna swing left into that cave that's over there. Down we go. Uh, so we're going to have a spider that's above. I see my spider, but I know there's a spider. I wrote in my notes there's a spider. So I need to be aware of him. Let's see. Um, do, do, do spider above, spider and eggs. After spiders, go left. Or, I guess it was that. Oh, there's our spider. Spider and a fart rat. Continue up ahead, and there are more fart rats we gotta fight. 
the one that's pathing, so we're going to go around and get that one up top instead. Grab this loot. We'll run up top. Uh, you can also get rid of the debuff we have by going into barrels of water. Some of the barrels aren't poop and are water. I did not bother writing down which because I think it's easy enough to just let it run off and then heal. Uh, there should be one more rat. There he is. Grab loot, take the path up for more loot. I don't know if we grabbed can we grab the thing up above? We did, let me check. Yes, we grabbed that. Go right, grab the loot, take the path up for more loot, drop. Um, there can be a kappa back here. It looks like he's not this time around, but there can be. Um so we're gonna take this on up and Kodama number four. Is that four? Yes. The the one by the shrine. Yes, okay. That is four. Um, now, we are actually going to do a little sprint here. There's some stuff over here, and there's some stuff over here, but there's a shrine that's right up ahead. So if you're worried, pop a tiger running, and just run past these two guys. It's essentially a dweller, um, a skeleton, and then that one human. But it'd be a lot easier to get over here. And then this way we have a shrine that's like halfway into the zone. Uh, so if you die, it's, you know, you're not like shit going all the way back all right now we're going to go through this zone proper so this is probably excessive let me let me go to like a bow better yet oh, there we go whatever that works so kill him Got that dweller on the cannons and a big skelly. Hiding right, in the grass. And we're going to fire this and take out Bugler. And then fire this one because we might as well. this way I'm going to pull a Yoki over to us and it's, it's a good to pull him because if you pull him we can then utilize that barrel that he was going to hit us with and the way it goes guy up should be one guy there we go Kill him and now you can see this yoki off in the distance we're just going to use this and take care of him literally we're just going to hang out here for a couple seconds and just keep firing this until this yoki's dead Definitely not the brightest Yoki. Alright, so killed the Yoki, the gunner, and we used the cannon. We shot the rooftop sniper. Uh, heading down, there is a dweller right there. Uh, any of these dwellers that have bombs on their back, you can just do that, and that'll pretty much take them out. And now we are just going to grab the loots and clean on up.
crazy how easy this area can become when you like know everywhere to go. Our first time coming through here, this place was hell. It's cannon fire, alarms going off. Ugh, oh, bueno. And that was a, there's a dude and a dog that were out back. That's who we just aggroed there. <sighs> okay, uh, kill the dweller to humans, human guy in house, around the house for human and dog, and then we're gonna go up top to the dark zone. Uh, so off to the right hand side is going to be a big skelly. Uh, now, I tried to aggro these guys and then back out and use the cannon to cheese them off. I wasn't able to, to pull that off successfully, just that one Yoki. So, I mean, it's the idea is there if you want to try it, but I did not have luck doing it. So, I can only speak to my own experience. Anyway, kill the Wyra. And that takes care of our first Dark Realm. And now we're going to get this chest. Afterwards, we go back to the shrine. Um, and this next one is going to be similar to what we just did, but even worse because it's just filled with yokai. So um, immediately at the start of this, we are going to want to sprint. We're going to be sprinting, and we're going to be going past a Kuroka and luring it into the cave. So just run and dip straight into the cave. Get our Scampus. Now we're going to beat this guy up. Looks like he backed out. Let's see if we can lure him. I'd like to kill that Kuroka now. No, oh, no, it looks like he, he he's, he's in the dark zone, so he left. So anyway, instead, kill this Yoki. We can handle that Kuroka later. After him, we're going to go around and up. Uh, let's see. Grab loot, left of the ladder, kill the Skelly, and now we can drop for the rats should be able to get a plunge attack on this guy. stuff. Grab this loot down here. As the debuff fades, we're going to heal. There we go. All right, two rats and spiders and eggs. Um, we're going to go down and cross the poop river. And right over here, the Narakabe. Uh, let's go for backflip. Oh. Did not want to backflip. We try to be nice to you. Anyway, with him dead, go inside, get the chest. Get the ninja locks, and then get this little piece of loot right here. that for now go up here this way and kick down the ladder you may remember this from earlier this is the uh get you back towards the very start of the level and then stay to the left and here is the poop man 
So he's going to say, you know, I need something to eat. I'll eat anything. You can give him elixirs, dung balls, or noble dung balls. Uh, don't bother giving him elixirs. He doesn't want them. Instead, you want to give this guy poop. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this episode, you need to give this guy 30 pieces of poop to get the achievement. You don't need to do it right now. You can save him up. You can give him little bits at a time. Um, anytime you give him poop, he will uh, he'll be like, oh, man, if it's only poop, I guess I'll eat poop. But as you continue to give him poop, he can give you rewards. If you really want to bang out the achievement right now, you can farm the poop balls off the Tessos. Spider. Uh, those are the, the fart rats that are running around. They have a pretty high drop rate of them, but I mean, you'll have plenty of them later on. So I would suggest just waiting until you have uh, all of your poop balls and give them all the poop balls. But as you can kind of see, like, oh, not again. Beggars can't be choosers as you keep doing it. Uh, I guess I have to hit five for my first reward. He'll eventually give you rewards, including a... Uh, a really nice helmet that increases damage done to poison targets. So, kick this down. This will land on a Namahage. Oh god, dude, the spin to win that the Kappas do is terrifying. I hear you, little shit. to position ourselves and we're going to drop and plunge onto this guy so get my rage up see there's a dweller down there too and there's a slime right here Toxic slime. And I believe that is it. Just check my notes, grab the loot dweller, slime hanging, and you're done. Uh, so, we're gonna leave taking this path. We have a wire right over here. We're gonna kill that. We'll do our typical uh, spin to win buff. Myra dead. Head on up. Now there's the two Yokis. Ignore them for now. Instead, we're going to go over here. And come on up and get a backstab. Next, I'm going to lure the Yokis over, ideally one at a time, just so you're not overwhelmed with double Yokai. Sound down. And then we will fire these off. So, we need to purge this Dark Realm and uh, grab a couple other pieces of loot and make our way to the boss. We're actually going to wrap up right here, though. There's still a little bit left to this area. Uh, including like the castle part which we haven't even got to so we're going to close on out now uh, in the next episode we will knock out this dark zone go inside knock out another dark zone and then fight the boss azai nagamasa so stay tuned and i will catch you guys soon enough as we continue on with bird in a cage <laughs>